Hi everyone, welcome to Lower Body Express. This is our final Lower Body Express video with Aztec Recreation over the entire span of the summer. My name is Grace and I'm so excited to sort of wrap up this round of upper body and lower body expresses with y'all. Um, today I really have a basic workout for us planned. It's well rounded to target all the muscles in the leg as well, legs as well as the core. Um, so again, of course, Equipment wise, all we're going to need today is two heavy objects. Um, it is, yes, we'll need two definitely for sure. If you don't have dumbbells, of course, you're always welcome to grab two objects that you have lying around the house. Uh, we will be picking up that weight um, a little bit higher today, so not soup cans or nothing super light. If you can go heavier, I would really encourage you to get some gallons of water if you don't have dumbbells adding some water, make them a bit heavier for you. But main thing is, is that we have objects that have handles on them so that we can deadlift, squat, and lunge with them. Okay, so without anything more, let's go ahead and get a little warm up in for about five minutes. First and foremost, let's start with alternating lunges. Okay, so we're gonna step forward with either leg and step back, alternating forward lunges. When we come forward, I want to make sure that our knees aren't going any past our toes. I'm kneeling here just to show you that I've got a 90 degree in my front leg and then my knee is not coming past our toe. Okay, so continue our alternating lunges. You can step back. You can choose to step back. Oh, jeez. You can choose to do step back lunges so that we're ensuring that our knee isn't coming any far past, or if you'd like forward alternating lunges, that's fine too. Just be aware of where your knee is at. Good, four, three, two. The reason why I like step forward lunges is because you really gotta push off that front leg. Good, so we've got our alternating lunges out of the way. Now, let's take hmm, narrow stance squats or a little bit wider up to you. I like to point my toes out towards the corners of the room. Knees are gonna follow in that same arrow of the toes. Okay, for regular squats. Good, let's get about 10 in here. Seven, six, five, four, hold in three, Hold in two and one. Good, we're gonna hold here just for a couple seconds. Then we're taking our elbows to the outside of our, outside of our knees and we're gonna sit deeper into our squat. So some of you may be up here and that's okay. Some of you may be down here like me, that's okay too. We're really just focusing on opening up those hips with those elbows. So of course in our squats, we don't want our knees coming in past our toes in this valgus stance. So we wanna push our knees out, make sure that those outer hips are turned on. Good, rotate three, two, one. Good, shake it out. 10 more squats, ready? Three, two, let's go. 10, nine, again, we're getting a little bit deeper into our squat today. Seven, six, Five, back is flat like mine. Four, three, two, and one. Good, shake it out. Now, let's warm up one leg at a time. Challenge the balance or stability of one leg at a time with single leg deadlifts, okay? So level one, we can step forward with our left leg, tap that back right toe, and reach down towards the ground. Fingertips about halfway point of the calf, pull straight up, okay? Hinge at those hips, pull up. Push that hip back towards that back wall. Pull up, good. Three, pull, two, pull, and one. Good work, same thing, other side. Then I have a challenge for y'all. Good. Other side. So again, we have our back toe tapped, 
for a little bit of help. Next thing we're going to do is take that back toe off if you can so that we have all of that balance challenge in that front leg. Three, good, two, and one. Nice work. Now come back to that leg we started with. Now you can continue with that back toe tapped if you need the help with the balance. However, I challenge y'all to take that back toe off the ground slightly. Hinge, hinge, hinge. Good, balance, balance, balance. Pull up. Nice. So single leg deadlifts are a great way to challenge or a great way to check in with yourself and say, hey, which ankle is more stable than the other? Which one might need a little bit more help with ankle strengthening or ankle stability? Good, four, last three, and two, and one. Good work, other side. Be careful to note that our hips are still even with each other. We're not opening up with one side. Both hips are facing forward and they come down at the same time. Good. If you so choose, you can also grab a really light weight, something I would say beneath five pounds to again, practice pulling that weight straight on up, pull, 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 and adding that element of, are my hands in conjunction with my hips? Are my hands both stable? Are they both at the same length? Or am I opening up on one side? Good. Last three, two, and one. Awesome job. Okay, so shake it out. We've got our squats, lunges, and deadlifts in. Now, a little bit of a, that was a little bit of sneak peek into our main set. So our main set today is going to be first, one and one quarter deadlifts. I'll demonstrate those later. Second, goblet squats. Third, lunges, okay? And in between, I have a little bit of a cardio challenge just to make sure that we're staying nice and conditioned, okay? So, up with those weights, the first things we're gonna do is one and one quarter deadlift, meaning we come down to the bottom of that deadlift, halfway point of those uh, calves, good. One quarter of the way up, about those knees, back down, pull up, good. So that's one full deadlift, one quarter, back to full, and up. About 30 seconds for this first movement. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Full, one quarter, back to full, pull up. Good. One quarter. Nice work. So the reason why we add one quarter movements is to keep that time under tension up there. So if you're like me and you have only access to light dumbbells, one and one quarter movements can be useful so that we pretend like we have some heavier weights. We're pulling them up for a longer period of time. Last one and pull up. Good work. Now with one or both weights, we have our goblet squats. Okay. I'm just going to use one, hold it at my chest here. Goblet squats, aiming to get those elbows to the insides of my knees. Ready? 30 seconds, three, two, one, go. Nice work. Remember, you can do one and one quarter movements with almost any movement. So you can still do that here with your goblet squats if you'd like. I'm just going for regular full goblet squats. Good, 10 seconds. Back is still flat. Four, three, two, one. Good work. Now, grab your breath. We're coming back to those alternating lunges. 
I'm doing step forward lunges. However, you can step back if you'd like to practice those knees not going fast past your toes. Ready? Three, two, weights at your side. One, go. Good. Again, the reason why I like that step forward lunge is because you have this big push movement. Push your body off the ground. Nice work, 20 seconds. Nice. Make sure you have that balance at the bottom of that lunge. Five, four, three, two, one. Good work. Set those weights off. That final sort of intermittent car, uh, cardio movement I was talking about is mountain climbers, okay? So we have two different options here. Option one, inhale up, exhale forward, fold. Let's plant those hands coming out into high plank. High plank, tuck those hips, shoulders over your elbows, elbows over your wrists and mountain climb at the bottom. Walk it out or run it out. Level two, a bit more challenging, quite a bit more challenging, is standing mountain climbers. So pulling those body, I'm sorry, elbows to knees, you can run it out here. Quite a bit more challenging, okay? Mountain climbers, whichever variation you like, ready? I'm going down to the ground, 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Good work. So remember, wherever you are in your mountain climbers, those hips are in line with the crown of the head, okay? So those hips aren't coming up to the ceiling, or if you're standing, we're not leaning forward here, gasping for breath, okay? You have a final 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good work. Take a stand, water towel as needed. We've completed the full circuit through. Now we have three more sets. So we just did one. We're getting a total of four in. So three more to go. In about 10 seconds, we'll pick back up our weights for our one and one quarter deadlifts. Nice job, y'all. How are you feeling? Whew, good work. Okay, so up with those weights, one and one quarter deadlift. Shoulders back, slight bend in those knees. Ready, three, two, go. I'll keep an eye on the time for us. You just worry about getting that movement done properly. Now, good question is, what do I do if I'm feeling some low back pain? That is super common when we do deadlifts or stuff that movements that hinge on our hips. Chances are we might not be engaging our back and our upper body enough. So reset by straightening out that back, rolling those shoulders back, and pretend like you have a string on the back of those hips, pulling them straight back, okay? So it's no longer a back movement, it's purely glute and hamstring. Good, three, two, one. Next movement, goblet squats, single or both weights. Here I'm gonna use both at my chest. 30 seconds, four, three, two, and go. Aiming to get those elbows right on the inside of those knees. A little bit deeper into our squat today. Good, 10 seconds through. Nice work. 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Grab those weights. Water towel as needed. Alternating lunges, 30 seconds. In five. 
grab that breath. Four, three, two, one, and get a move on. Let's go. Whew. Good. Remember, you can still introduce that one and one quarter movement by down all the way, up one quarter, back all the way down, push back. Good. Last seven seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh man. Set those weights off. 10 seconds to grab your breath. Finishing off this second set with those mountain climbers, whichever variation you choose. Ready? Standing or on the ground. Three, starting in two, one, go. You can pump the feet or run them out. Up to you. Keeping an eye on that time, you're more than halfway there. Five, four, three, two, one. Walk it on up, roll it up. Whew. Shake it out if you've been on the ground. Water towel. Check in with yourself, think, do I need to pause it? Do I need to up my weight, lower my weight? Always take that second to gauge where you're at, see how you can finish out these next 14 minutes together. All right, so starting out round three, two more to go, you're officially halfway done. One and one quarter deadlift. Ready, shoulders back, up with those weights. One and one quarter, go. One quarter, back down, pull up. Making that intention to stop at every point. Good. Halfway there, 15 seconds left. Here's a little tip. Think about separating the floor with those feet. So you're grabbing the floor as hard as you can with your feet. Yes, grabbing them and trying your best to separate that ground, turning on the outside of those hips. Good, three, two, one. Standing straight up. Goblet squats are next. In about 12 seconds, we'll get started. Single, both, or no weight, that's up to you. I encourage you to pick up some form of weight, especially at the midpoint here. Ready, 30 seconds goblet squats. Four, three, two, and go. Good work. Challenge yourself by slowing down the movement. Good, 15 seconds left. Nice, five, four, three, two, one more, and good. Weights at your side. Got those lunges next. You're officially more than halfway done. So let's finish out strong. Shoulders back, alternating lunges. Four, three, two, go. Introduce those one and one quarter movements if you so choose. 15 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Set those weights off. 
10 seconds before we head to the ground. Check in. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Inhale up, head forward into your high plank for mountain climbers. 30 seconds, go. Or you're standing for low impact mountain climbers. Or of course, high impact. Whew. 10 more seconds. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Amazing job. Shake it out. Stand on up if you're down on the ground. All right, so we have one final round to go. Then we have one last little thing to do on the floor and then we're out of here. How does that sound? Pretty good to me, okay? So we've got our deadlift one and one quarter up with those weights. You have less than 10 minutes of work to do. Shoulders back, one and one quarter, ready three. Think about separating the floor with those feet. We're not actually going down in the splits, but grabbing the floor, actively separating with those legs. Ready, three, two, go. One, one quarter, back down and up. Keeping those weights nice and close to the shins. Another good way to prevent that low back pain or that low back little uh, bug you might be feeling. Again, that's not the goal here in deadlift. Sit back with those hips, come down just as much as you are comfortable. As long as it's not past those midpoint of the shins. Five, four, three, two, one more. And stand up. Nice work. Goblet squats. Whew. How are we doing? Good. Okay. So combining those weights, dropping one weight or going body weight. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Good. Remember, back is flat. More than halfway done. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Alternating lunges. Ready. In three, two, one. Let's go. How are we doing? Amazing work, y'all. You have less than three minutes of work. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. Go ahead. Set those weights off. Mountain climbers, either standing or on the ground. Ready? Three, two, one. 30 on, go. I'm working, I'm checking in with myself. I know that I'm not ready to be on the ground quite yet. I've been talking yelling this whole time, so I'm taking a step back for that low impact option. One, four, three, good, two, and one. Nice job, y'all. We have another minute left of work to do. I'll give you a second to catch your breath, okay? The last minute is a nice little core challenge just to round out our entire workout and series together, okay? So what we're gonna do is take a seat onto the ground, okay? 
Now, we're gonna lie back onto our backs and we're going for bicycle crunches, okay? So, level one, you can start. Hands behind the low back, alternate knee to chest, okay? Level two, lean back, bringing alternate knee to elbow. Level three, hover the feet off the ground and alternate knee to elbow. Ready, three, two, one, let's go one minute. Good work here. Pick your option. If you're sitting up nice and tall, is your chest up towards the ceiling? Are your hands protecting that low back? Is your back nice and flat? Knees to chest. If you're lying on your back, is your knee, I'm sorry, is your chin coming to your chest? If it is, go ahead and prop that chin off the chest like you're carrying an orange right between chin and chest, okay? Continue, you got a final 20. Nice work, 15 seconds. Rotate, rotate, chin off the chest. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go ahead and lie all the way back. Stretch out those arms and legs. Fingertips as far as they can from the toes. Good, breathing into your belly. Out through the open mouth. One more time, inhale into the belly. Exhale, out the open mouth. Good work, go ahead and swing those arms on forward, helping you sit up. Okay, go ahead and butterfly the feet together. Let's take a couple seconds to really open up these hips here. Take the elbows onto the insides of the knees and push down as much as you are comfortable. Back is nice and flat still. Good, three, two, one. Go ahead and take the fingertips onto the ground in front of you. And like your hands are some spiders, go ahead and walk the fingertips forward, lying, aiming to get that chest towards the big toe. Chin is still off the chest, lengthening the back from the tailbone all the way up to the nape of the neck. Four, three, two, one. Good work. Go ahead and extend that left leg, make a figure four with those legs. Now we're gonna rotate the torso towards that left big toe. Inhale up, exhale forward fold, reaching for the bottom of that foot, the ankle, the calf, whatever you can reach. Good, breathe through this stretch. Maybe you feel it in the hamstring, maybe in the outside of that hip, wherever it is. As long as it's not painful, you're doing good. Three, two, one. Go ahead and roll it on up. Good work. Go ahead, extend that opposite leg. Bend in, opposite knee. Good. Inhale up, rotate the chest towards that right big toe. Exhale, forward fold. Nice work today. Really basic movements, but still always challenging. Always important to get in there. <sighs> Breathing through this stretch. Nice work, roll it on in. Now we're going back to the same stretch. Go ahead and extend that opposite knee. Coming back to that first position we were in. Okay, so now again, we're facing our left toes. We're gonna do the same thing, inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. All right, so we were just in this stretch. Now we're gonna take it a notch further. We're gonna stretch the side body. So the side that the leg is bent is the side we're gonna stretch. So we're gonna take our right hand, that inside hand, and bring it over to the opposite side of that ankle. So if you're facing your left toes, our right hand is now on the outside of that left ankle. Good, still lengthening the back, chin is off the chest, 
Feeling that stretch all the way from that right hip all along the right side body. Go ahead and roll it up in three. Roll up two. One, nice work. Other side. Last big stretch here. Breathing up. Exhale forward, fold. Good, take that left hand now, cross it onto the outside of that right ankle. Feeling that stretch all along the side left body. Aiming to get those shoulders in line with one another. So if one shoulder is way up here, go ahead and walk the fingertips back so that we can straighten out the back. Keep that chest facing the toes. Three, two, one. Good, roll up, good work. Go ahead and crisscross those legs. We're gonna take three good stretches for the neck. Okay, so we're gonna start with a nice little head roll here. Good. Oftentimes we don't think about stretching our neck enough. We're sitting, we're looking forward all day long. Looking down, good opposite way. Looking down at the floor, at your phones. Good, three, two, one. Take that right arm, your right arm, and bring it over to that left ear and let that right ear sit onto that shoulder. Easier way to say that is just to keep that right shoulder. Let me start over. Easy way to say that is just bring that right ear to right shoulder. Three, two, one. Release. Nice work. Other side. Left fingertips to right earlobe and rest that ear in the opposite direction. Being careful not to pull our neck down. We're not trying to stress. We're trying to ease that tension. Three, two, one. All right, both, uh, both arms come up. Interlace the fingertips behind the head. We're gonna gently bring our chin to chest, rounding out the top of our back for a nice neck stretch. Good work, three, two, one. Sitting up nice and tall, the last thing to do is go ahead and take, interlace those fingertips together. Take those knuckles underneath the chin. I'm gonna sit to the side so you can see. Take a big inhale with those elbows on out. Exhale, bring those elbows together and gently push that chin straight up towards the ceiling. Good, three, two, one, inhale. Separate the elbows and release the fingertips. Amazing job today, everyone. Again, we really had a well-rounded practice. So we, we did, uh, I already forgot, deadlifts, squats, lunges. So really well-rounded main lower body movements. And again, we threw in some cardio portions so that we keep our conditioning up we're staying active, drinking our water, and again, having fun, most importantly, with our workouts. Thank you so much, everyone, for a really great summer. Thank you for tuning in with me, Grace, with Aztec Recreation. I hope that you all have an amazing fall semester, and I look forward to seeing you soon. All right. Thank you, everyone.